I don't want to. Eh, I don't have time for this. <gasps> Hi everyone, it's Blue. Make sure you like and subscribe and go follow me on my Twitch and my other YouTube channel. Those links are down below. Also my Patreon, where uh, you can get more videos on there that I don't post to here. Hello. It looks great. <laughs> I know you models are always watching your weight. Care for a Bud Light? <laughs> Today I'm going to be reacting to American Dad Dark Humor. Oh, sorry, Steve. I thought we were going down low. All I have to do is bait the trap. And he may be a master forger, but I am a master bait. Whoa, whoa, that was close. Almost masturbated myself there. Joseph Heller's absurdist novel with... Well, stop right there. You know I only read books I've already read. Um, okay. <gasps> my boy is dead. Long live my man. Uh, well, uh, I just know they're both in a better place now. That's right. Dear hell. You know what, Francine? Your parents at Thanksgiving, that's not going to work for me. Oh, and Steve, you'll have to find someone else to pick you up after your eye surgery today. And okay. at the end of the night, okay. I'll say a chilly goodbye to the parent of your choosing. How? Do we have a deal? I'll ask you again in the car. You stay here. Like it's rain. It's got order. one of those funny rings that goes doot doot. Savages. Hello? India? What? Yeah, it's Pakistan. You know that nuclear peace treaty you sent over? Yeah, well, well listen to this. Yeah. Yeah, that's me wiping my butt with it. Oh, 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 it is on. Oh, meet me at the border at 3 o'clock. Oh, and FYI, I'm punching a cow right now. Say, do oh you perchance goodness. have any Gatorade? I'm afraid I left all my electrolytes with your daughter. Francine, get out. Hey, do you know what I was thinking about last night while I was gazing at the back of your daughter's head? Your promotion. You slept with my daughter? Well, to be perfectly honest, neither of us did very much sleeping. I'm a man okay. made out of water. That's I'm cool. a water man. Do you know what this means? Don't just sit there and stare at me, you sack of water. Say something. We're water. Now I gotta unclone them. Unclone means kill. Whoops. Unclone means kill. Buddy! <gasps> Roger, uh... thanks for letting me clean your place for the extra cash. No problem. Here's your 50 bucks, kiddo. Oh, and here's some old sweatshirts and one shoe. I, I don't have the other one. So, I don't know if he's still... He's nice. I take. He skinned him later. Ah! Give me your money! Oh, is it this... <laughs> is that the come back and kick me whistle? <gasps> my God, what happened to your face, honey? I got robbed in front of my room. They stole the 50 bucks you gave me. Oh, no, that's terrible. Hey, look at my new bracelet. It jingles. <laughs> For 50 bucks, it better, right? Okay, so they're... Thanks for walking me home, Roger. We're safer in pairs. <laughs> I don't want to... Eh, I don't have time for this. I don't be... No. No don't... parent should have to... Okay. It's just so out of line all the time. How am I not used to it? Why am I still so shocked? I guess he's paying him to be his cleaning lady or maid or house servant or something, but Rogers is Rogers is just weird and like does things to people. He's not like a person, so I don't know, he's weird. Um and yeah, he's like not wanting to actually pay him, so he's getting away with not paying him by robbing him, but not letting him think that he's robbing him so he'll continue to clean. Super so abusive, but yeah, there's that one. Then Steve. He literally said something about, oh my gosh, I lost my son today, whatever. But long live the man that he just became. And he killed this buck that was literally hiding in a tree. And I guess it came right after he was saying, oh, you can't kill her. Like, make sure you don't kill the doe, like the female. And he literally kills the female anyways because he kills the buck and he lands on the female and they both die. Eh, I don't have time for this. Hmm. No parent should have to bury their child. Which is why your mother and I have arranged for you to be cremated. Oh, no, oh, you didn't. Please. As if a pizza guy has ever been murdered here and buried under the foundation. <laughs> but nobody's gone to the cops, right? I just acted so heterosexual that I needed something phallic in my mouth to even things out. 
Steve, let the women clear the table while we adjourn to another room so I can tell you how proud I am of you without feeling like a total gaylord. I'm worried. Francine, it says right here, don't worry. Do, do you need to read the note again? Your reading comprehension is terrible. Steve is becoming a man. And one aspect of being a man is having absolutely no interest in women. A baby. A baby you gave birth to and you didn't even know you were pregnant. It just popped out on the lawn. You thought you were just taking a D on the lawn, but surprise, it wasn't a deuce. It was a baby and it's in that tub. Is he okay? Like, what are oh, you? are a coward. Would a coward do this? Renegade. Chicken pot pie? Chicken pot bye. Oh, no, you got robbed again. And almost raped. Almost. Jeff, at least use that scooter to get home. Just speed through that hallway and get home safe. Okay. Thanks, Roger. Oh, okay, man. I'm just gonna wash my hands now. always here. <laughs> this is getting ridiculous. You want me to walk you home again? No. It didn't help last time. She's just trying to help the kid out. I'm gonna ram this time. What a long oh night of my. killing people who don't deserve it. Oh my gosh. What is wrong with this show? Oh my God. What? Um, it's never ending. I feel like I'm just watching one episode and it was already cut up into just parts. Um, and this is the Roger and... Jeff portion, and then the other portion is just Steve being, like, manhandled by his, I don't know, the fact that he's just getting worse and worse, like, da-da-da-da-da, manly stuff, and it's like, okay, yeah, we hear you out, stereotype, whatever, and then it's like, oh, one thing about being a man, a true man, it's not having any interest in women, it's like, mm, kind of, kind of a swing and a miss. I'm gonna rip him this time. What a long night of killing people who don't deserve it. Where is small breasted the bar wench? She didn't come in today, but there is someone here to see you. Who are you? Do you Sweet. not recognize me, Dimitri? I am Mama Marouche, matriarch of the Armenian Mafia. <gasps> Captain Francois Dubonnet, French Interpol. I have devoted ten years of my life to toppling your criminal empire, Madame Marouche. Your reign of terror is over. And I am Marie Dubonnet, your neglected wife. Your obsession with the Armenians has destroyed our marriage and driven me into the arms of my lover, Raoul. And I am Raoul. You are too old and barren. I am leaving you for a real woman who can bear me a son. And I am your doctor. The bull's horn has done too much damage. Your testicle cannot be saved. You will never have a son. Her baby crying. You know the drill here. You know, I remember a time when this was a safe hallway. I left my door unlocked. Kids played after dark. I could walk home without being scared. And I don't want to be scared anymore. Just shut up and give me. Ah! <laughs> You're not gonna check who it is. <sighs> That's a whoopsie. Okay, I guess he actually was trying to shoot him back, but he just shot himself. I was so confused. I was like, are you going to shoot yourself on purpose? Um, and I also thought Jeff was totally going to like find out who it was. Anticlimactic. Or Roger was on accident just going to take it too far and kill him. Or, I don't know, skin him. Whatever. Just trying to think of something creative. Um, but it was cute. Funny. It was dark. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, and if you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe and go check out all my links, and I'll see you next time.